I mean you need to develop a powerful, differentiated brand promise that separates you from everybody else out there that you compete with. Because if you don't, you don't get any marketplace attention at all. Now once you've done that, you've got to over deliver. And by that I mean you've got to deliver on and reinforce that brand promise at critical customer touch points. We create this over the top brand promise that we call the over promise. And then we align our products so that they fulfill the brand promise, our systems so that they fulfill the brand promise, and our humans, our people, have to be taught how to fulfill and reflect and amplify the brand promise. So that what the customer gets is this experience where they go, cool, that really was exactly what they promised. In fact, they over-delivered on that outrageous promise. And they get so excited about it, they get passionate about it, and they become advocates and they tell other people. They spread word of mouth. Everyone can overpromise and overdeliver. This is not just for large companies. We saw it work equally well, in fact, sometimes better in small companies. You can do this at the division level. You can do it at the department level. You can do it with project teams, sales teams, customer service teams can do their own brand promise and their own touch points. In the movie Crazy People, Dudley Moore was an advertising executive who dared ask the question, what if we just told the truth in advertising? How would that work? And here's the ad he wrote for United. It said, your fear of flying may be valid. There are lots of crashes and people dying like crazy. But you should also know that more people arrive at their destinations alive on our flights than on many others. <laughs> so if you have to fly, fly us. Most of our passengers get there alive. <laughs> Here's another one he wrote. The French can be annoying. Come to Greece. We're nicer. <laughs> and my personal favorite, we know you love him, but if he happens to die, We'll give you two Mercedes and a summer home. Wouldn't that be nice, too? <laughs> American Express, Blue for Music, decided that their brand promise would be enhancing the musical experience. If you use our card and you're a music lover, you're going to like the experience. So when you order concert tickets online, a couple of days later, you get a free CD of that group in the mail. When you get to the concert venue, you don't stand in the will call line with everybody else. You go straight up to the Amex Blue for Music will call window where there are no lines ever. And then instead of getting in line to go into the concert, you go directly to the Blue for Music entrance where you're escorted directly to your seat. Three critical touch points back to back that deliver on the brand promise. FedEx didn't say, um, we ship stuff. We're really fast. What they said is, when it absolutely, positively has to be there overnight. Why? Because there were a zillion other shipping companies. And they carved out a niche that only they could deliver on. When it absolutely, positively has to be there overnight, people said, okay, this one absolutely, positively, they go, good, got it, I'm there. People go, wow, they did that. That's cool. Do it again. By the way, what's their symbol? It's an airplane. What's their competitor symbol? A brown truck. <laughs> Which one do you think is most likely to get it there faster? Well, this is actually the second time I've seen Rick Barrera speak. We actually had him at an OFDA conference last year, and uh, he was the, the last speaker of the event, and people actually missed their plane to see the entire his entire presentation. So Rick does a great job, engages the audience, the overpromise, over delivers right on the mark. Lexus conducted some research when they first came to the United States and they found that 50% of all Mercedes were not serviced at the dealership. But what was fascinating is not just the fact, but the why. And when they dug into it, it was none of the expected answers. What they found was that 
Most of the time, these Mercedes owners loved their cars so much that they wanted to talk directly with the mechanic. They didn't want to talk to a service writer or a service manager. They wanted to talk to the person who was going to be hands-on on their car. So Lexus completely redesigned the service experience. You meet personally with the mechanic. They cut big holes in the wall so that you can see into the service bays. They built living rooms, not waiting rooms. They put in coffee bars in some of the dealerships, Saks Fifth Avenue boutiques, spas, high-speed internet access, private offices. They actually have customers that meet their friends at the dealership while they're getting the oil changed. Now here's my most shocking finding in all the research. Great brand builders redefined customer service. The whole concept of customer service. They changed the game from delivering traditional face-to-face -face service to building branded customer experiences that could be delivered with flawless consistency. The Container Store is a store that sells virtually everything to organize your home or office. Their motto, Be Gumby. It's about flexibility. They will do virtually anything they can to solve a customer problem. And they talk about the man in the desert analogy a lot. If you came across a man in the desert who had been stranded there, what do you think that person would need? Water is the obvious answer. But what they do is they say, what else would he need? Would he need medical attention? Would he need transportation? How about a cell phone to call his loved ones? The, the point of this exercise is to look beyond the obvious need to the non-obvious need. So here's a question. How many of you have a written document for each of your people, describing in detail the role that they're going to play in your company, what their style should be, what they should look like, how they should sound, how they should behave, what their attitude should be like, what their point of view should be, and what emotions they should be trying to elicit from the customer at each critical touch point. Anybody know what this is? It's a jet blue airplane. How do you know that? 50 channels of free television in the back of every single seat. You want to know the true meaning of priceless? Travel with a child just once on JetBlue. <laughs>